Good morning, good evening, and good afternoon. Today I am back with another round of PvP, playing the heavy hitter, the Machinist. Since both the resistance and balance changes, the Machinist has become almost scary good. I myself am out of practice, and I miss time a few limit breaks due to how potent the Machinist is right now. With good positioning and an understanding of your basics, even while misplaying, I rack up a nice 14 kills, to just short of 1.5 million damage on Seal Rock. Let me know what you think of the current version of The Machinist. That's all from me, enjoy the video, and I shall see you all in the next one. This round could not have had a better start. Cave spawn with an A-rank spawning in the middle. A Machinist's wet dream. I get to kick back while building a fast and early battle high. Meanwhile the hordes collide on point. Not too much to say here. As a Machinist, keep your distance. Capitalize on opportunities your team create and slowly chip away at the other teams. Avoid going in as much as possible. Should I get caught out in the open and pulled in, I will be manhandled more than a male Mikote at an RPS nightclub. With Seal Rock being first to 700 score, it is much harder to achieve a full 100 battle high, but with such a perfect starting battle, it was important that I do not lose it, as a full battle high on Seal Rock has a huge impact on the outcome. At this point, I tried for a few more cheeky kills. After seeing how many adders were in that choke point, it was time to leave. Already being at a 68 battle high, I retreat back to the cave entrance, covering my team when possible, until I spot the Maelstrom coming up behind. I retreat earlier than my group, in case they tried to sandwich us. While retreating, a lone scholar thinks he has a shot. While scary and should be respected, a scholar by himself is of little threat. Most of my team are to the north. I avoid a fight with the Adders to regroup. I drop a turret at the base of the stairs, for both defense and to help aid in my retreat. Once it begins to seem like we were winning the battle, I would make riskier plays. In doing so, I managed to reach a 86 battle high. However, once I noticed the Adders were behind, I loop around to aid the team in fighting them back, positioning myself out of the way of being sandwiched.
At this moment, there were far too many adders for me to get aggressive. I simply place the turret on point and begin chipping away. Once more of my team arrive, we begin pushing them back, picking off any stragglers, until the Maelstrom decide to get involved. Upon their arrival, I drop back behind the objective and attempt to finish off any weak players. As soon as both the Adders and the Maelstrom break the new zones, we rush forward for any player left behind, and thus securing my 100 battle high. While heading north to reclaim the B-rank objective, I come across a small group, without a tank or a million sight, with a 100 battle high, giving me 50% more damage. This was easy score for the taking, an opportunity I would not miss out on. After clearing that battle, I check the minimap to see what the majority of my team are doing. With the adders holding a firm lead, it is now time for a big push. We need to bring their scores down and steal any objectives we could. The Maelstrom may hold two objectives, but the adders could win it here and now if played right. Joining in on the battle, my team strike the distracted adders from the side. We are then able to push the high ground to steal the A rank right from under them. Following this, the Maelstrom decide they also want the third objective. I hold strong to fight back against anyone attempting to push past. We succeed in doing so, and even manage to fight back against the few adders who think they can retake. Once the objective is almost complete, I look for my chance to make my escape. Now the scores are rather even, it is anyone's game to win, and I shall let these final moments unfold. Enjoy the rest of the round, and have a great day.